Once again, this is the scene outside the White House on this Tuesday afternoon. The president is expecting the arrival of the Turkish president, uh, President Erdogan, in just a couple of moments. And uh, we will watch his uh, entourage drive up here in just a moment. The president and the Turkish president do have a scheduled news conference this afternoon. Uh, it's going to take place in about 20 minutes or so. it will be at about 1 o'clock, and we are planning live coverage here on C-SPAN 2. U.S. Senate out for their weekly party lunches. They gaveled out about uh, 10 minutes ago. They're expected back at 2.15 Eastern today. Of course, we'll have live coverage here on C-SPAN, too. And later in the week, the full Senate is expected to attend a secure briefing. They'll be talking about the recent firing of FBI Director James Comey. That is expected to take place Thursday. And, of course, if there are any remarks from senators afterwards, we plan to bring them to you here on the C-SPAN networks. Also, earlier today... National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster held a briefing, and during that briefing he answered questions about President Trump's meeting with the Russian ambassador and intelligence information. We uh, do have that lined up to show to you shortly, and uh, you'll be able to see it here uh, on C-SPAN 2. You can also watch it online at cspan.org. Turkish President Erdogan greeted at the White House by President Trump. A couple of questions uh, shouted out by reporters on the side. The two are expected to hold a joint news conference that will happen at the top of the hour at 1 p.m. Eastern. We are planning to bring that to you live here on C-SPAN 2. Or earlier today at the White House, National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster held that briefing where he answered questions about President Trump's meeting with the Russian ambassador and intelligence information.